I'm going to start today's video with a bit of a look what I've bought type thing. This is a series one tailgate in a rather fetching shade of Caribbean blue. It's been really, really tricky trying to find a series one tailgate. Series one and series one and a half cars have what is basically a big square piece of glass. Series two has it angled. Basically, these aren't great for rearward vision. Um, so on the later cars, they basically did that so that you could actually see out when you were reversing and they added a rear wash wipe as well, which would have gone about there. It's quite good fun really. And then a washer jet up here. Um, it would be nice to fit a perfect brand new rust free one. And you might be thinking, why the hell am I doing all this work to cut rust out from other bits of the car? and then put in something that has rust in it up here. <clears throat> well, the point is, this is incredibly unusual in the fact that, ooh, one moment, there is absolutely no rust at the hinge points, which there usually is. There is no rust in the seam all the way around from the outer skin and what is absolutely stunning and really 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 unusual for a series one or series two tailgate is there is basically no rust anywhere in this rear frame and on the underside of here look at that it's perfect it does have a dent in it over here which i'll need to dress out and all of this rust I'm not going to lie, you're never going to get it out from between these two seams unless you take the whole thing apart and put it back together again. Down here, all of that can just be, and it, yeah, so it's down the sides and the bottom edge. It has rust and it'll just need to be treated and ground back. I'll get a proper look at it once I've got the old sealer off. Um, but I think most of it is okay. Most of it is okay along there, and then you get to about here. And this is the problem area because it's rotted out that bit and also slightly onto the return up here so and there as well so um, I'm gonna have to do some surgery on it up there but considering how rare they are and how much sometimes you have to pay for them I'm pretty happy with that um, I just need to get on with it and chop the rust out anyway that can wait for the moment I've still got stuff to do on the actual body shell itself. Just reminding myself where I got up to last time. It was really the beginnings of excavating this corner. So I'm going to continue to do that. Just take a saw to it, chop out as much as I think I need to, rub back whatever else I need to, and then start rebuilding it. Once again, because I'm in a hurry, I won't be recording as much as I used to, which is probably a good thing because a lot of it's quite boring making progress I've chopped out most of that bit surprisingly good in there that inner sill will all just clean up I just need to unpick that uh, lower part of the sill off all really good metal there tiny bit wants to come out of here get that bit off in hindsight I probably didn't actually need to chop all of that out it had thinned slightly but you know if you were probably not as conscientious as I am, you could have left that. Um, I haven't yet disturbed that area because it's a key reference point. That bit I've chopped out just to really see how bad the metal is behind. And again, you know, it's a judgment call, but that, in my opinion, really needs to come out. Then here we have the hole uh, where a previous owner had started some surgery and then never finished it. So I've made a bigger hole because the bits that he'd left raw have rotted out inside there you can see just how good that inner sill is all of that is just surface rust the area for the um trading arm mounts are all perfect and the rest of the sill all the way look along looks really good apart from the stuff that i've dropped in there so i'm going to continue cleaning up and chopping then down here we have that piece that i had started to make for the other side of the car to go under the b pillar and then never used so that will become my repair piece to go in there. Right, that bit's cut out. That's my new hatch to go in, or the first parts of it. 
I've put a little step in that top edge so that should tie in nicely when it's all smoothed down. I need to put a piece in here because that bit had rotted through. I've got some holes here but I don't want to chop that out until I've got this bit in and that's all seam welded. It might be that while I'm welding this I just fill those in because this is all really strong metal and that's rotted from the top side down. You can tell by the pitting so um, if I can I'm going to try and fill these areas in that I won't even need to grind smooth because it's hidden inside that I will but access is really good so rather than trying to chop out all that area which would mean chopping off that bit I'm going to try and weld this bit in weld that bit in seam along there and then fill these in as I go Again, I'm not going crazy videoing all of this because a I haven't really got anywhere sensible to put the camera and B um, actually, maybe I can wedge it in there, wedge it in the door somewhere. Uh, B, because this probably is not going to be my finest work. I'm just rush, 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 trying to get stuff done. first stage of welding done um, that went pretty well I haven't actually done that bit in there yet but that's because I was getting cramp I still need to do that bit as well so I'll do those two together um, I'm gonna go outside and have a bit of breath of fresh air for the moment that is hot but I just can't resist picking that bit fine sounds like piano who dear me right that's all welded in piece in there I'll put a chuff load of heat in all of that so that that is all solid metal and I've got good penetration. I'm gonna grind it smooth and then um, start thinking about how the hell I'm gonna make that bit. I don't even know where it ends. I'll have to take a template off the other side, I think, and then um, fashion something, probably do it in two pieces, one like that, then one like that. It's gonna be quite a tricky one, I think. Been doing some clean up, I've done uh, well, I could probably do a bit more there. I've done that bit. That's looking really lovely, actually. Looks good from above and from the side, which is good. And that was, you know, it's, none of this is difficult. They're all a little bit overwhelming when you first look at them and you just have to kind of get stuck in. But yeah, I wasn't really looking forward to doing this bit. I haven't bothered grinding down in there because I don't need to and I want the strength. This, although I didn't put a shelf underneath it, I had the power up so high that I know all of that is really good and just needs a final dressing of filler. I'll just tidy that bit up a little bit more. That's all cleaned up now. And then I've marked in a rather fetching shade of green where this needs to come down to. To get the location of that line correct, I measured off the other side and just did the distance from that seam to where it is on the other one. And that all kind of lines up. So I'm gonna make this in two pieces. One will just be a flat curve along here, but sort of diving in a bit and I'll start the roll on that one. And then this one will be tacked on the side and then hammered and rolled and then seam welded along there with um, plug welds into here and plug welds into that bit as we go. Once again, I'm kind of thinking of my feet and remembered I have this panel. So again, I'm not chopping it up because I'm saving this for that twin plenum or another car, something that, um, warrants the whole assembly being swapped or well, not assembly but the whole outer skin but what it is useful for is rather than making it up I can lovingly replicate exactly the shape I want um, so what I've done is if you were to look in this in plan view from that way up I, I've cut it on a, a wedge because it is actually wider here than it is there I've marked where I need the steps for here and I'll mark how far back that comes to out there and then I've added a little try and get a piece on the end so I can start the roll on this and then when I make the other one it should butt up to it nicely. Just about to run out of battery but that's the beginning of the panel um, where I've done panels like this before I've included the return that gets plug welded on there 
in this panel, but I'm not going to do that this time. This is just going to be seam welded all the way around so it's nice and stiff. Plug welded in here and then I'll start folding that, that corner over once this is welded in. Panel patch made, sits in on top. Gonna weld it, hit it, weld it, hit it until that fits nicely. Then I can start my bend round and make the closing piece. This is working out much better than expected. So that's in, I screwed that bit up a little bit. I've done a really nice little fillet weld in there. So that should grind back and be quite smooth. Um, it all gets hidden by the door seal anyway, but that's good. That step looks nice. This will all be linished smooth as will those. Then I've tapped this round and I've still got that nice curve there. The door, which is also important, opens and closes without hitting. And not sure how much more I'm gonna to do tonight. I might, well, I will clean this bit off. I might zap a bit more weld in there and then start making the template for here. Um, if I'd really been using my brain, I would have done that bit long deliberately because trying to weld a piece in there. In fact, what I might do is cut that off. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll put the blade through there, cut that off, then put the piece on the side uh, all the way through in one hit. It annoyingly has a sharp crease in it here. So um, that I'll need replicating quite carefully. Also managed to stick something in my hand which hurt right so I'll clean that off tiny bit more welding some cardboard engineering and then it's cider time I think gonna cool it there I'm tired it's Thursday night and um, it's been quite a long day anyway even though I'm on lockdown just writing reports and things <clears throat> but um, that's one big sort of scary area semi sorted that's worked out a lot better than I thought it was going to I've trimmed that little bit off there so I can now put a well, whole cardboard and then steel plate in on there with a nice folded line in it weld it in plug weld through blah 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 then that little bit and then what I think I might do is actually um, all of the welding that you will see will have been done by then so theoretically and what I might do which is a complete change of what I was going to do is not even bother doing the floor pan just get this up to the body shop so they can have it um, I went and spent 200 quid stupidly well maybe not stupidly but yes yeah, a lot of money buying cans of argent silver from a paint supplies place already in aerosols single pack so my plan was to um, touch in a few of these areas that are really bad or where the red oxide has gone over um, and paint the rear lamp panel that is going to be silver now that's not going to be black so i was going to paint that too i was also going to do the filler on here and pr put these bits in as silver as well and then hopefully all the body shop needed to do was paint one door and then um, clear coat the lot I'm not sure what's happening now because um, that's the door incidentally so that's the one that came off the car this one was in my stash of spares because it is super lovely it's originally opaline green but it's a series one door so it has the return on the underside excuse me for the rubber bit and there's absolutely zero rust in it so that was my personal collection of salvage doors but i think that's going to have to make its way onto dotty because i've just run out of time to reskin that one myself and there's no way with that bottom hole in it that can go on like that so um yeah that just needs a dusting of silver really clear coat and should be fine the other doors i think they're just going to continue on as they are uh, maybe with a bit of filler yeah rambling again gonna go in for some refreshment morning it's Saturday come down to look at the car again <clears throat> I am impressed with that bit that's worked out really nicely I've got to now put the closing panel in here before I do that I'm gonna paint all of the inside of there with red oxide just to keep it nice and protected I'm still looking at this area and thinking 
how best I would go about repairing that. That really, I need to work out how rusty it is. Um, and whether it can be saved or not. I think it probably can, but you're never going to get all the rust out unless you cut it out. But quite frankly, there's probably rust in here and I'm not going to remove that anyway. So um, it might just have to be accepted that this is the way it's going to be. Uh, and I really don't want to unpick that bit because that's my detail line. So what I might do is rust treat the hell out of it, pour red oxide in there pretty much, cut that bit off the back and then go from there. But anyway, first step, fill that with red oxide. So I started with a cardboard template. Now I've made this piece to go in there. I've put the plug weld holes in along the bottom and the rear four are drilled about six and a half. That front one's five, but if I make it much bigger, I risk burning through at the bottom and that's annoying because then you just see a big step in that otherwise nice straight bit. Um, what I'll do is I'll weld it in and then I'll tap the top up to meet and round as I go as, it, as I'm welding it so it's nice and hot. That bit will seam in and we should be getting somewhere so I've got that tacked in up here and up there I'm just gonna go through these plug weld holes with the spot weld drill just to clean off the back side should be something nice to weld to and then go around the whole lot with the wire brush as well and the sander just to make sure that I got good metal no paint in the way okay that's looking good can give it a slight dust of that now we can weld properly
So that's first sort of semi clean up welded done. I'm going to go find my finger sander so I can get into some of these bits and clean all that up nicely too. I won't go crazy because I don't want to lose the strength. I probably went a bit deep in there, but meh, who cares? It's all solid. Ugh, excuse me. Ta-da! That's all in and done. Looks good. Nice curves with a bit of filler. That's just going to look original. So that is what I wanted and that's good. Tiny bit in there as well because I forgot to weld that up. Now I'm going to concentrate on this bit. I will actually put a little bit of red oxide on that right now because it's there. That looks so good now it's painted in red oxide. Unfortunately, as I was cleaning that up before I painted it, my brand new Y wheel drill thing disintegrated. It very nearly took my head off. So I'm glad I was wearing my goggles, but um, the rivet that holds it all together has basically split. So that's really annoying because I don't have any more and I was planning on using that extensively in this area to clean it all up. So while I go hunt around for another one to see if I've got one, um, I'm also going to have a cup of tea. So that's pretty good work for a slightly hungover Saturday morning. I think that's taken me about, I don't know, 40 minutes maybe? Right. Moving on, I haven't fixed that or found another one, which meant that really to clean up this area, I couldn't. So I, instead, I used the grinder, but this bit was so frilly that it just wasn't worth trying to save it. Um, it's more work again, but actually in there it's really good. Um, <clears throat> don't know whether you can see that. This bit will be repaired, but... Um, in here that's usually the problem spot and that's all good <clears throat> so with that open i can now rust treat in there this bit i need to remake originally this would have carried on as one piece all the way down here and then the outer seal would have been plug welded to it um, but i'm going to make it in two pieces what i'm going to do is make that bit first weld that in then i'm probably going to actually make the outer sill here and then the infill bit here and then the last bit will be the closing panel um, and the sort of inner part of the inner wheel well as it comes down <clears throat> so first stage is to try and replicate that uh, which won't be particularly easy I've got a bit of scrap there and I'm just going to take that into the workshop with my hammers and um, try and get as close as I can really it might be the final shaping has to be done on the car after I've welded in that bit but we shall see just cut up a strip which will be the beginnings of it I've made it extra long because I might as well see how long I can get this to go along down that way save me putting it in another bit but the plan is to put the crude fold in along there and then to try and bend it that way by um, shrinking this side I don't know whether that's going to be possible it might be I have to cut slots in bend it I'll probably have to do that anyway to get that kind of step in it there but we shall see once again I'm making it up as I go along that's going to be that bit obviously this bit needs to dive down and in I was going to cut a slot fold it in weld it up but it just occurred to me that I might be able to achieve the same by heating it up with the map gas belting the hell out of it with the back of this at least might as well see what happens and uh, if it works great if it doesn't doesn't really matter because I'll just do it again anyway right my fiance bought me a gift so I had to go into the garden and see what that was it was a lovely rose which is nice of her but I've got to continue my work beating the hell out of this my plan is to put that back in there, clamp that bit flat and see if I can um, exaggerate that indentation and bend it slightly curved in the other direction. I think I'm getting somewhere now. It was bending the wrong way, but if I clamp it in the vise like this and heat this bit up, I can smash the metal down into itself and kind of falsely shrink it. And that should save me having to do any welding.
you get the idea. Still not perfect, but um, it's all part of the learning experience, I guess. Well, it certainly isn't artwork, but that, I think, with a bit of bashing while I weld it, it's going to go in. I need to profile it a bit more with the sander, then I'm going to tack it and weld it. Um, I'll probably weld it in like that and then try and bend the lower part out as I go. I think I'm going to have to admit to feet and put a slice through here to get the curve I need, but we'll see as I go. Before I go silly welding that bit in, I thought I'd have a really good poke in here and in here and de-rust everything. So that's what I've done and now I'm just going to paint it with Hydrate 80. Lovely stuff. That bit's in, welded. I was able to get to both sides, so I've welded down the back as well. It's not the cleanest, but by the time it's got under seal, seam sealer, all the rest of it, it'll be fine. I'm gonna go have some lunch now, and then this afternoon come back, make that bit, that bit, and then that bit, and hopefully this will be ticked off. Back from lunch, we've had a mini clean up, and, uh, I've chopped a tiny bit more out of the sill so that I could clean up that bit area. So that's all really good metal. This is going to be my last opportunity to get into this sill from this end easily. So I'm going to get a brush and sweep it all out. And then I'm going to red oxide in here. And then I'll make my next few sections. I might also red oxide in there as well. Because although that gets plug welded onto, there's going to be no weld at all onto any of that bit that I've just welded. So, excuse me, um, oh, lunch is repeating on me. It was in fact leftover mixed donut and kofta kebab with chili sauce and garlic mayo um, with chips and salad. And I microwaved the whole lot and then ate it, which is probably not, you know, the best way of doing it. Delia Smith, I'm sure we'd do it in a different way. Incidentally, before I hacked any of that off, I did take a reference measurement from there of where this sill ended and it was 100 mil from that line so um, it's a little bit inboard at the moment but that's okay because they always are and once it's plug welded along there that won't matter so I am going to find a brush sweep all of that out if I can red oxide it and then start making this whole area that was a messy job but I've basically painted the red oxide bonder primer anywhere I can get it into all of these cracks and crevices and crannies absolutely whacked it in there down in there as far as I can and then also up inside there which I don't know whether you can see it's quite difficult to reach but that's the underside of that whole area that I painted it's not super super neat and there obviously still is going to be little pockets of rust and stuff in here but um this isn't a concourse resto either this is it's already been quite a lot of mission creep originally this car i was just gonna shove you know fiberglass filler in it just get an mot on it or not even an mot it but just get it to a point where somebody would want to buy it and not just break it for its v8 engine and manual gearbox it has uh, evolved a lot as a project, but I think it's worth it. Um, not necessarily financially, but uh, to preserve a car that has a lot of character. Um, so while that's going off, I'm going to look at refabricating this area. It's not a particularly complex shape, but it's still time consuming to... Um, repair this incidentally i can't remember whether i said but i chopped a bit more out of there just so i could clean up that area nicely so i've got a bigger hole to fill now which brings me to my lunchtime discovery dotty originally came with these or a pair of these over sills these are the sorts of panels that ordinarily i hate because you can buy complete sills for the cars perfect for not very much money so this is not a proper sill. This is a um, pattern part 
that just gobs on over the top but what it does have is the right profile already here so my intention now is to use the end of that because it's going to save me loads of fabrication time probably still want adjusting but it's going to be a lot faster for me than making it from scratch super speedy cooking on gas all the rest of it that's the end of that panel chopped off i've smashed it around a bit because it didn't fit brilliantly <clears throat> and then i've uh, put plug weld holes in the bottom two big fat chunky ones three along the back there it just about fits where it touches but i wasn't really expecting much more than that but i'll get that gobbed in um the benefit of doing this now and doing it this way is i can fill it with red oxide afterwards which if I'd done this panel first I wouldn't be able to get to and I'd be reliant on cavity wax so this way I can clean all this up zinc paint it put that in weld it clean it off on the outside fill the inside with red oxide again I think I've had a bit of a camera fail I've probably lost some more footage that's sort of in I've just drilled through with my spot weld drill to to the panel on the back so I can put some decent plug welds in there uh, yeah that's about all I was saying really Right, I'm going to clean all that up, have a bit of a tidy up as well. Oh, excuse me. And then um, repaint the inside of there with red oxide because a lot of that that I put in earlier would have burnt off now. So, um, yeah, I can be able to pour it in there so I can get the back side of that. Generally, try and protect it as best I can. <sighs> That's all cleaned off. Looks all right. It'll be fine with filler. I'm just going to red oxide everything again. What bit am I going to do next? Probably makes sense to do this bit here because I've just filled in there with red oxide. Don't really want to mess that up. So I'm going to go and make myself a nice cardboard template and work out how best to do this neatly again because there's been and there will need to be filler here i think i'm going to do an overlap weld same as i did here just make sure that i get some sort of indentation here that i can make it look original and put some plug weld holes through weld it together this bit i'll probably have to make it up as i go along how those two panels join together and then just use filler at the end been over in the back cave hammering on metal this started out as a piece of flat, obviously. I put a crease in it, like a fold, but when I did it, I um, used washers again, clamped between the top and, no, the underside and the um, folding jaw. So that as it folded, it sort of folded it tight at the ends, but not in the middle. So that crease isn't as sharp. Then I put it in the vise and belted it. You can see where it's shiny there. So I belted it forward and that's given me a belly outwards in that way and a curve in that way which is kind of what I needed for here. What I need to do now is can you see that flat section 
that does actually carry on all the way around so I need to mark that and then try and beat that into it as well um, this is all gonna sit down here and I've left enough metal spare at the bottom so that I could hammer in this line here originally these are two separate sections and you've got that join of seam sealer in there I'm gonna try and replicate it but in steel on this bit uh, save me having to make two panels to go into one little area it might not work but it doesn't really matter because if it doesn't work I'll just cut this short and then make a little fillet to put in afterwards so I'm gonna mark that with a pencil take it back into the back cave and um, beat some more metal well I wasn't bothered sorry I wasn't gonna bother filming any of this but it does seem to be working better than I had expected first thing I did was just where I had that pencil line I clamped it progressively and then just beat the top edge over with a hammer just to put the beginnings of a crease in it like so then I put a relief cut in the back there clamped that in the vise like so and then very carefully with the wood chisel I went like that And basically I'm starting to get that step form that I'm after so I'm gonna keep going at that and just see how it develops well, it ain't perfect but it first goes at that sort of panel work pretty happy I'm gonna clean that up I'm gonna to attempt to weld it in and um, if it looks good I'll keep it if it doesn't then I'll just lop the bottom off and make it as a separate piece like I was going to originally probably about halfway through I have to say it's looking really good I still need to twist that bottom edge in but I've put quite a lot of heat down that bit and it's kind of shrunk in nicely and this crease that I've put in like lines up as well so um, it's gone better than anticipated I burnt a hole up there and in hindsight that's a bit frilly and I probably should have cut it out but with the welder turned down low I should be able to weld that up okay then it's just a case of doing the final beating and shaping I should really have drilled plug weld holes in that but I've uh, forgotten but because it's so uh, floppy at the moment I should be able to drill through and clean the backside off with a grinder and um, it should all come good in the end really not having a lot of luck with cameras I dropped it again and I think it might have lost some of my recordings but that is in I'm really happy with that it's a different way of repairing it I've never done it quite like that before um, obviously it needs a lot of cleaning up and cutting back and stuff like that but uh, it's another bit done really I need to clean it up and weld in a closing panel on here and then I think all the welding that I'm going to do before it goes to the body shop is done. I've decided I just need to get it there. I'm going to let the body shop do anything that's um, difficult in terms of filler and anything that's silver. When I get the car back, then I will de rust the rest of it and seam seal and epoxy and stone chip, and I'll have to do the floors on the driver's side when I get the car back as well but it's just I don't want to keep doing welding on this and then be in a position whereby I kind of um, am rushing to do all the mechanical stuff afterwards I'd rather just get it up to them they could do that I can have it back and I've got longer to do the interior the headline uh, all the other stuff I'm not doing a full mechanical restoration because that's not my remit I'm just getting it solid and hopefully MOT'd stupid things like these bushes you can see um, they've sort of semi-collapsed they need to be changed 
Um, I've had a good look around the rear watts linkage. I think that's okay. Trailing arm bushes are usually okay. The ones that go for the axle, they're okay. At the front, I'm gonna do the control arm bushings, I think, and the anti-roll bar looks all right, actually. But I'll need to do um, the steering coupling and a few other bits and pieces, but hopefully it won't require loads of money and loads of work. That's what I'm hoping anyway. I'm gonna do an oil change, spark plugs are new. I'm gonna do the timing after that, hopefully just with a fresh tank of fuel, it'll be good. But um, yeah, stuff like adjust the rear brakes, blah, 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 work, work, work. <laughs> Can't remember whether I showed that. Just been in for a bit. Um, yeah, that's all cleaned up, sanded back, really happy with it. I'm going to do what I normally do, which is cover it in red oxide and um, think about the next bit. I'm pretty tired, it's only three o'clock, but I've been doing this since about 10 o'clock. So what's that, five hours. It's still good progress, it's just taking so long. Right, red oxide. Um, I do like painting stuff in red. It does. It is satisfying, and um, you can kind of see the body lines a bit better. That sort of makes a bit of a difference. Sometimes it's for the better. Sometimes it's for the worst. Gonna put it on nice and thick, and then brush it out. I always feel like we should have the Tony Hart music from Kids TV. Can't even remember how it goes now. Mm. Oh, that does look good. I'm really happy with that. I could build it up with filler and then grind into it and then seam seal through the filler and it'll look dead original, which is what we like. Incidentally, that did get spot plug welded, so that we're all done down to about there. I'll do a final grind along that seam when this bit's done. And um, we should be winning. Super duper. Yeah, that does look good. Never repaired one quite like that before, but that's becoming my new favorite technique. Next job, make the closing panel. Sorry, we should have prepared that light in the right place in the first place. What I did was just make a crude template of the final shape of the inner part, and then I knew I needed to have a return and a return. So I marked that out marked a return and a return and now i'm just slowly smashing that round to make a decent shape i've just i was doing that inside on the vice now i've just come back outside because i need the grinder to chop through there and through there and then i can uh, terminate those bits right that's in there um, don't worry about how messy that looks. What I'm going to do is weld it in, in and around here first. Then I can, when that's all stabilized, put some stitches in along here, fill in the plug welds whilst I'm clamping all that back together. And then I will have ended up with a proper repair. I mean, the easiest way if you're doing this is to just put a flat sheet on here and seam weld it in all the way along in there but I'm kind of doing it like it was original. I've still got that kebab regurgitating on me, so excuse my funny pronunciation of words. There's a bit of chanda and kebab meat mixed in with it. Once again, I dropped my camera, and that's being welded in there to put a shitty seam across there, and then that will all be sanded flat across the top. So really, that's just acting as a plug weld. Now I'm just going to hammer these bits together, 
plug weld that and then a few little stitches in there we should be golden complete just ground that down by the time that's got seam cedar on it and a bit of stone chip that's going to look hunky-dory so i'm really pleased with the way that turned out